Hey guys, Shea Bear 1000 here. We're going on another little adventure. We're on a quest. A quest for fun. We're on a quest to uh, find out some paranormal stuff for you, so stay tuned. Hey, baby. What you doing? Driving. Yeah, where are you going? Mm, we're going to go find exploring stuff. Exploring stuff where at? Mount Dora. Mount Dora again, huh? Yep. Because we didn't get what we wanted to yesterday, so we're going a little earlier today. It's about noon right now. We should be there about 1 o'clock. Mm, yeah. We got a couple surprises for you guys. So, and a lot of this, ha a lot of this video in fact, this video here will also be in uh, under my paranormal and hauntings playlist. Look it up, I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> hauntings <laughs> and paranormal or something. But it'll be under that list. And we've got our guard dog back there. Bruno's here today. Yay, Bruno. Bruno's going with us, so we will get back to you in just a second. Okay, okay guys, this is our first stop. This is the Mount Dora History Museum. But it's an old firehouse and city jail. And it is supposed to be haunted. So we're going to go in here and see what we can find out. And we'll go from there. Okay guys, we're inside here. This is a hose cart. It says it was similar to the one Mount Dora Fire Department or Volunteer Fire Department used at the time they moved into this fire station in 1923 and I think it was built in 1922. This one's on loan but this is similar to the one they used to use. show you a couple things here and then we're going to get to the jail the great fire of 1922 right there aftermath the fire took out three buildings on the east side of Donnelly Street, which we're right by Donnelly Street. Seen out the museum door, uh, starting from the corner of Fifth Avenue. The third building was was the beloved town hall that was built by much fundraising and volunteer help by Mount Dora Citizens 1904-1905. So it took out three buildings. Mount Dora Fire Department. There's a lot of... These are fruit pickers bags. When they would pick the, uh, the oranges and stuff would put them in, in bags. There's a lot of orange groves around here. So this place is pretty neat. This is an old smudge pot. Yep. I used to have one of these. You could put like used motor oil in there and it would burn and, and things hell of a good heater. Shaking. Wish I had another one. Mm -hmm. Holding him in one hand and the camera in the other. There you go. Yeah, that's one of those mixers. Remember these? Any of you guys remember those kind of desks? Yeah. I sure do. This is a sausage stuffer. <laughs> What kind of stuff there? Cool. 
Alright, cool. What'd you say, hun? I said there's a sausage stuffer. Cool, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Uh-huh. Make videos of making sausage. Yeah. I'm just looking at all the pictures of that thing. 1885. That was the Methodist Church. I think we see, did we see that? Yeah, it's on Baker Street. It's right around the corner from here. Uh, wow. Old stove. That would be that. That's cool. You know, people love uh, everywhere I go, I can't get away from the dolls. Oh, we got dolls? I love dolls. There's another one. Look at this. I love these old things. That's or wooden, wood and coal stoves. What you used to heat with right there, guys. For those of you that do not know. I know most of you do, but... This is the way they used to dress. Wow. Wow. Calvin Grace Coolidge. Huh. That's what they broke ground with. That shovel right there. And I'm touching the shovel that Calvin Coolidge touched. Now, let's go back in here. You guessed it, we're in the jail. Huh. This gentleman was the only Mount Dora police officer killed in the line of duty Tuesday, December 1st, 1959. Wow. He received a shotgun blast to the chest while answering a disturbance call. Sergeant Jim Jika and his horse was named Lady Justice. That uh, doesn't say what year. Nineteen sixty nine Mount Dora Police Department right there. Restoring the cells. Wow. That's what it looked like in nineteen eighty. Was it nineteen seventy eight? Here's a couple of the old uh, jail cell doors. This is now the bathroom. Okay. Let's go in here. Trying to get everything for you. I gave her the little handheld tripod. It's easier for her. And I got the big one here in case I do an interview later. This antique orphanage youth bed is approximately the same size as the metal beds that were originally welded into the walls of the cells. On top is an authentic prison mattress. On the chair is an authentic prison sheet. So this is an actual mattress they used. And this is 
an actual sheet that they used wow huh and there was their pot you know if they had to go to the bathroom that's what they used they never came out of this little tiny cell I don't know if you can tell on camera but and there's one of their uniforms And again, this is an old, what used to be a cell. Most of the carved in graffiti is not fit for reproduction. But this authentic prisoner drawing from the 1960s has been preserved. So, this was an actual drawing from a guy that was in here in the 60s. Here, let me. I don't know if you can read that. Wow. So they preserved that. That's cool. I'm trying to look around on the walls for some carvings. I'm sure they've taken it, taken it off. So, pretty cool, huh? Huh, a boater's delight, Mount Dora, Florida. Awesome. This is 1940, where exactly where that is. Getting chills. Yeah, monkey's getting chills. Mm -hmm. From the back of my neck. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. After I talked to that doll down there. Don't talk to the doll. Mm -hmm. I still get it. So there you go, guys. There's a little tour for you. So uh, where we're going next. I'm going to get some drone footage and we're going to go to the park and show you a big giant. Uh, they actually have a um, an, an alligator, a bronze statue of an alligator. I'll explain that to you, so stay tuned for that. We've got some other stuff we're going to go do and see, so you don't want to miss out. park that it was getting late that we couldn't take you to last night because it started getting dark but I'll show you where we were last night in the gazebo there's the gazebo we were in last night and right over here is going to be that little lighthouse. So I'm going to take you there now. Cool cannon. You can tell it's been underwater for a very long time. I don't see a plaque on it, but you can tell it was underwater. We are at the port 
of Mount Dora. A monkey likes lighthouses. This is cool. Let me get you up here. There's a plaque on this we can read. Isn't that cool? She's doing her uh, video clips. Shell's Lighthouse, Public Works Director, 1960 to 1980. So that's cool because we are on this lake. Okay, real quick, I want to show you that uh, boardwalk over there. It's all the way around there. And it goes way out there on that point where you can you see that gazebo? It goes way out there. I'm not sure how far it goes. And here's the lake. Pretty view, huh? And again, right straight over there is the gazebo, the little park we were at yesterday. Right there. There's Monkey doing her video. Okay guys, here's that big bronze gator I was telling you about. His name is Big Joe. Which incidentally, because you know gators are mean, incidentally that is Monkey's dad's name. Yeah. <laughs> big Joe. Sorry Joe, had to, had to do that. But here he is. That way you can pause it if you want, but I'll read it to you. On Lake Dora, at the turn of the 19th century, an alligator named Old Joe, oh, it's Old Joe, Old Joe could be seen cruising these waters. The captains of paddle wheel boats would point out Old Joe, the largest, fiercest, and most respected alligator on the lake. It was said that he would eat not only fish, but also deer and other large animals. Today, when you see an alligator, you are seeing one of Old Joe's offspring. Like him, they are dangerous and are to be respected. This statue is for your enjoyment. Please leave the real ones alone. So, this is how big, I've read about this gator before, this is actually how big he was in real life. This is the life-size of how big that guy, this little guy was. Now, what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna put you on the pod here for a second and I'll go over by his head so you can get kind of a perspective on how big this guy was, okay? Now you can see me, this guy was huge. Big old gator. Old Joe, take care of my friend. We're at this old church here. 
Now I don't know a lot about it, uh, but from what I'm gathering is they're trying to raise money. I'm sorry, they're trying to raise money to restore it and get it back in shape. Um, so I think they got a GoFundMe account. But let's check it out. I don't know when it was built or anything like that, but let's go give it a gander, okay? chimney's pulling away from the wall that would probably have to be already done we'll go around this way there used to be a cross up there on top where that wooden Stake is sticking out. That used to be a cross. Like I said, that's really the only information I've got on this old church. Termites have gotten to it. Glasses, mine, so you might have to use some of my footage. Is that window broken? It's just the plastic. Oh. Very interesting stuff. Uh, you know, I love these old churches like this, man. It's a shame. Hopefully, they can get the money they need to. Uh, to refab this old girl but like that right there is going to be very very expensive because that whole chimney will have to come down and they'll have to put a new one up if they want to keep it original which if I was going to restore it that's what I would do is keep it original or as original as possible Let's see if I can get you in this window guys better look at it right there Mount Dora oh I don't know if you guys can see this I want to show you this if you can see it that little thing hanging in the window see that? it's like lace but it's an old church I don't know if it's supposed to portray this one, but that's pretty cool. Monkey might want to use that footage. All right, guys, there's still a lot more to come. 
It's already getting close to four o'clock. We haven't ate yet, so we're gonna go get something to eat. And we've got a couple more surprises for you too, so stay tuned and uh, we'll be back with you. And uh, it's gonna take us a little bit, but for you, Okay, so she brought me out these they're cute. This one is tenants, right? Tenants? Mm -hmm. Tenants, however you say it. This is from Britain, right? Right. It's a British beer. I have a beer here. What's it called? I forget the name of it now, but it's from Denmark. Yeah. And they're both a very good beer, but she's right. She said this one uh, tastes something like a Budweiser, and it does, but it's an imported beer. So, oh, monkey's going to take a drink of beer. Unusual. Mm-hmm. Tastes like beer. Mm-hmm. Let me try that. You like this one better, huh? Is this like more like what you're used to? Is that yeah, it's, 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 it tastes more domestic. It tastes like a Budweiser. Yeah, Sorry. but you don't like beer, no, so why are you like even beer. trying them? Because it's from different places. Oh, That's okay, why. I got yeah. you. I got so, you. So, we gotta try different things, right? Yeah. Even if we don't really. What'd she say the name of this train was? It's a. I don't remember. <laughs> it was a 1960 train. Well, no, it's been here. It's this train time. behind me has been here since the late 60s. It's on a dead track. Right. So, it's been sitting here since then. Right. And they're doing some work inside. They had a wedding reception in there a couple weeks ago, and right? she called, it was a name, and his name is, this is the last train that he ever made. That's what, yeah. yeah. So, anyway, I'll get, I'll, I'll, I'll get more of that yeah. here shortly, because I'll show you the whole train and stuff. Maybe she'll let me go in, I don't know. Yeah, they do, they do their weddings and stuff. Like yeah, that. so maybe I can talk her in. That's the owner, right? Yeah, she's trying to, they're trying to fix it up a little bit better yeah. and make it where there's more seating in but there. it's been sitting in this spot since the late 60s so that's cool yeah stay tuned we'll have more okay what you got there monk i got a strawberry limes heart cider show them the can for me please isn't it cute yeah because she was going to get a hibiscus La yeah cucumber yeah but they, she couldn't find a cu cucumber or whatever yeah she couldn't find it so she brought you a couple choices and yep. that's what you chose so that's, show that picture again I just now noticed that little guy on there bring it up here closer to the camera right there. <laughs> and I've got my British beer and on the train she's going to ask her husband he should be calling her in a few minutes and she's going to be asking him what year it is, huh? But we're guessing maybe 40 since it was parked here in the late 60s. Right. So, but we'll more more on that. Mm-hmm. Thanks for joining us the past couple days, guys. We really appreciate it, don't we? Yeah, we yeah. do. It's been fun. So tomorrow, I think Monkey needs to take a day and make some videos. Mm-hmm. Because she's, she's done some filming, but... I haven't put anything up. No. So, so she's proud of her channel, aren't you? Honey, the camera's up here. Yep, I'm proud of the channel. I know. She keeps looking at There's a rocking chair over here across the tracks. And she's going to get in it. I'm going to take her picture and do a little film. But that's later. Right. So, I ordered a half a pound cheeseburger. Mm, you think you can eat it all? Is that a challenge? You bet. Yeah, I can eat it all. What'd you Let's get? See. The fish and chips, right? Yep. Because she's at a British pub. <laughs> so she's going to have her fish and chips. Yep. <laughs> she looked at me and asked what kind. I was like, no, no, no. I'm going to have the big ass half pound burger. She's like, ooh, that's good choice. So, yeah. All right. So there's my beer. It needs to be sipped on. And she's already a fourth of the way done with hers. And we'll be back with you all. Tell them. We'll be back. We'll be back. Stay tuned. What you got, monkey? Is that your fish and chips? Yep. That's your fish? I already put my tartar sauce. Oh, I already put my tartar sauce on it. And that's your chips? Yep. That's which my is cheese. just fries. Right. And there's my chips, which is just fries. But here's my half pound burger. It's got 
what is it, bacon and some kind of cheese and mm -hmm. uh, sauteed onions. And, it looks uh, good. And look at this bun, it's cool. Oh, and their special burger sauce. Mm -hmm. It's on a square bun, it's more like a roll, it's British style. So she don't think I can eat it. We'll see. All right, we'll see. I'll be back with you. Oh, almost gone. Got about two more bites. Mm-hmm. And my chips. Be back. Been about what, three minutes? Mm-hmm. So, monkey, yeah. you're having fish and chips, right? Oh yeah. So and a side order of crow, right? Uh who? Crow. crow. You're eating you're gonna eat crow. I'm not eating no crow. It's a figure of speech because you said I couldn't eat mine. No. So ha, ha. what kind what kind of fish is that? Cod. Oh my cod. <laughs> you're funny. I said that a minute ago, and she goes, oh, Jesus. I said, see, you know where I'm going with this. <laughs> Bruno had what? Oh, I'm sorry. Sausages. He had two British sausages, mm -hmm. and they were good. We tried them. Yeah. And good. she's only charging us for one. Yep. But she said her dog really loves them, so I said, yeah, give him one of those. And he ate both of them. And he set a couple to the side that was still hot, because monkey cut, cut them up. Mm -hmm. And he moved, he would move them out of the way until they cooled down and he eat them. Mm -hmm. Smart little puppy, huh? Yeah, he's smart. Sometimes for his own good, too good. Alright, so I'm going to let her finish her stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to chill for a few minutes and then go to our game plan. Yep. Yep. Stay tuned. I take you walk up through here. Isn't this cool? So we're thinking it's uh, in the 40s, from the 40s. Um, this is uh, an actual train car that had a washroom at both ends of it. Isn't this neat? Too. Oh, I missed that step. <laughs> yeah, this is cool. Friggin' awesome, guys. I like the way they got these tables. This thing is long. Thank you. This is cool. It's original gate. This is neat. This platform here. filming the guys walking now. <laughs> oh jeez. Yeah. Here you go. You stuck? <laughs> yeah, I was. <laughs> I would have helped you. I thought two more seconds I'll kick the door in for him. That's what happens when you when you when you drink. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty cool. Let's sneak in here. See? There's a toilet. Isn't that cool? We do doing, Monk? Having fun. Looking at the rain coming. We rocking. We rock. Yeah, it's, it rocks. It's a rocking chair. She's had a couple drinks, guys. <laughs> Only two. So, 
so here's the back side of the train guys it was way up there I'm not supposed to be back here but wanted to get some of this for you monkey swore up and down this thing had to be sitting on the grass I said it can it would sink this is part of the old rail line that used to run down to that alley where that white car is or silver car there used to run down that alley there were some silk switch tracks and this became a dead track and the train has been sitting here since the late watch that wasp honey she's allergic since the late 60s so there it is it's hot and if you can see the sky is looking ominous up that way so we're going to head on to our next adventure Wait a minute. Did I just see that? What? You, you're standing on the railroad tracks. Mm -hmm. You heard a car horn and you turned around. Making sure. Did I just see that? Yep. Okay, come on. Never know. The car might come straight. I got to take her for a walk, guys. On to the next adventure. We've got... The Windsor Rose Tea Room. This is another place that is supposed to be haunted. There's the sign. And they're closed, so. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff down through here. That place right there is called the Goblin Market. Casual dining. That's pretty cool, Goblin Market. Read that book over there. There's two of them. Read that book. So, I couldn't, uh, they're closed. So I couldn't get an interview with anyone. If you give a bear a bong, if you give a bunny a beer. I'm not going to give a bunny a beer. I'm going to give a bear a beer. Shea bear. <laughs> okay, guys. Like I showed you last night. This is the frog and monkey. Come on, focus. The frog and monkey restaurant and pub now it's down there it is supposed to be haunted too isn't it monk yeah uh, i'm not sure about the claims it doesn't really say too much about it from what i'm getting but people are saying that it is haunted um one of the claims is uh they're seeing a spirit down in the kitchen area right yeah uh, from what I'm bringing up online. I haven't got to interview anyone today. Anybody we've asked, they, they don't know. Yeah, we asked uh, the woman at the jail, the old jail slash firehouse, about it being haunted. Oh, I've lived here 10 years and I don't know anything about it, so. And then last night from the other girl at the restaurant, she said that, that she heard all kinds of stuff. And she only been here a year. Yeah. So. But she, well, she was hesitant to talk for a while. Yeah, she seemed very scared to talk about anything. Until she knew, you know, look, we're real. We don't think you're crazy. So no. then she told us some stories, but I'm not going to say any more because we promised we wouldn't say who she was or what the stories were, but she did talk a little bit. Uh, so, but we can't get anyone to talk to us or interview, to do an interview or anything. But we're going to keep searching in our quest for paranormal fun. Offer void where prohibited by law. Okay, we're standing in front of the princess, and I remember hearing something about it. See, there's doors up there, but I remember hearing something about this. I think it may have been a real theater. Look at this. There's 
like an old ticket booth I'm guessing simulated but it's probably all simulated now there's gone with the wind but I don't know if this is a real theater or not but I remember hearing reading something about the princess somewhere and this right here guys is a big giant TV so I'm thinking maybe the doors used to be here I don't know and I don't know why that big TV screens there now but yeah it's it's kind of kind of cool whatever it is it's pretty neat a lot of neat stuff down here in Mount Dora, huh, Monkey? Yeah. Monkey's having a blast today. Yeah. She's just having a great time. Now I want to watch Bobby and Popcorn and be good to go. <laughs> Uh-oh. That didn't sound good. Can't drive an automatic? <laughs> right over there on the other side of that brick wall there. I was sucking them in. <laughs> I know. But if you look over here, there's a beautiful view of the lake. Mm -hmm. See it, Mama? Yeah, very pretty. Yeah, so, but right over here is that house we promised we'd come back and do in the daytime for you. The one on, from last night, which was the last video I uploaded. So, let's go down here and check it out, guys. All right, guys, here's the wall. It actually started right there here's another gate it's going through here and see this I'm not sure what that is right there this little building I don't know what that would be for um, but gates unlocked I'm going in But, according to what I'm bringing up on the internet, when I did the search on it, the last thing it used to be was uh, plaque construction. And this is part of that building right there. I'll keep you rolling. Talk to you for a minute. Go find Monkey. Shit, Monkey's clear down the street. There's Monkey. <laughs> okay, so we'll catch up with her. She got Bruno. Um. So yeah, that was the last thing that that was supposed to have been in here was Platt Construction. That's P. L-A-T-T-E, I do believe. Anyway, I put it in last night's video. But see this? I don't know if this section is original or not. Yeah. Um, or if this section is and that middle section is not. But something has been added on here. And this is an old driveway. Monkey's over there checking that out. Train coming. <laughs> she, she said, hey, dude. We were sitting back here and everybody that would walk past on them tracks, she would say, train's coming. <laughs> One guy didn't like it. He was all like all jacked off about it. And so, but here it is in the daytime. So, let's go up in here and See if I can get you a better view than last night. But to me, it just seemed like. See, there's that fireplace you probably couldn't see last night. See the mirrors all along that wall, the arched, uh, the arched doorway there. Like I said, this was built in 29, 1929, and there's the stairs for the upstairs. Uh, the shutters really close. Yeah, cool? it's got real shutters on it. Uh, but it just kind of set it's set up to me kind of like a the way a funeral home would be but from what I'm bringing up on the history of this place it sold in 2000 for 650,000 
but I do know it was sold at one time for 300 and some thousand. I don't know what you can see in there, but doing the best I can. Yeah. Okay, there's a doorway there. There we go. Where? Over there, it's archway. Yeah, so is that one over there. And it's tiny. See how tiny it is? It's really cool. See, so I don't know. I mean, for a construction company, this would be one hell of a big office. And $650,000. But it is empty now, and I don't believe it's up for sale yet, or at least it is not listed yet. So. So you really can't see much. But, see there's that building we were just at. And there's Monkey. Oh, this is cool. You got the gate to go through here. Um. Yeah, see, I don't know. See, it's just, it's, it's kind of weird the way it's set up. You know, they, they put those there. Those are sandbags to keep the water from going in to those doors. Uh, no, I can't even see nothing in there. I know you can't. But, I'm trying. This looks like it might have been a little koi pond with a fountain or something. There's an old entrance sign. In the school. Yeah. Really pretty. But I don't know if it's just not listed yet or what. Mm -mm. But it just seems awful ornate to be. But that's what I'm bringing up is plat construction. What, just Yes. Wow. <laughs> the air the air conditioners on yeah, and of course well, like I was to. telling her this fence is on this property so that's not city lighting that's for this this house's lighting so that's telling me that yeah the uh, electricity still on and it was some kind of business of course because of the fire thing you wouldn't have that in your house so I don't know, maybe they're getting ready to fix it up, mm -hmm. to sell it, or what, but yeah, there it is, guys. It's already got an S on the front of it for Shea Bear. Eh. Shea Bear Studios. There you go. But, yeah, let's see if I can get you kind of like a back towards the back there. The first windows we looked at would have been right over to the right, over that way, the first windows we looked in. So see, there's that archway she was talking about, and I was talking about that archway there. But as you can see, there's two archways. It's just kind of, just kind of a, a weird setup. Now let me, let me give you another view of the lake here. Let me get you on a stand somewhat so I'm not moving you around so much. Get a couple drinks, it's kind of hard to film, huh, Mama? Yeah. <laughs> she, she is looking at me with this big smile. <laughs> She's like, I'm glad you're doing it. I know what that smile means, but there's another view of the lake. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Zoom it in just a little bit. So... So anyway, we promised you we'd bring you back in the daytime so you could see more of it. My tripod's not big enough to get the upper windows, unfortunately. But, uh, where is it? No. So, that, that it's, it's a beautiful place. So. Alright guys, there it is. But that's all the information I can dig up for you. Uh, for right now but I'm sure I'll find out more later on because we'll be down here a lot so and I'll ask whenever I can about this place and we'll see what we can come up with might be our next home yep
I'll have to put a garage owl back. Well, that little building might be good enough. We went back there. You know what it could be called? What? Shea Bear's Cigar Lounge. You want to put a bar in here? Oh, wouldn't that be cool? Shea Bear's Cigar and Lounge. Huh? Make it all lounge. Cigar and lounge or cigar lounge? Either way. Shea Bear's Cigar Lounge? Yeah. Yeah, like a cigar bar, like over yeah. in uh, St. Augustine we went to. Yeah, no. and we'd have jazz. Oh, you got to have jazz in a cigar bar. It just suits it wine and beer yeah there's plenty of parking around here everywhere is free to park around here by the way that, the reason for that though is because people that live here were complaining that they couldn't get out of their parking lot out of their driveways because people would actually just pull and, and park and anywhere park. they right. didn't care so now they have made all the parking here free so you can park where there's parking and you don't have to pay and you don't have to there, work. Yeah, there's several the, places to park. and The only thing is, is that if you park on the side of the road like they are, they're, they're only allowed to be there for four hours and then they have to move. In different places though. Now, we parked in the garage. Yeah, you can park as long as you want. And no, there's no limit. Right. So that's kind of nice. Yeah. All really right. is. So we're going to go find our next adventure. Yep. Yep. Here we go. Here we go. Check this out, guys. Wow. Their heads are broke off. Yeah, that's shame. Yeah. Well, this camera's picking that up nice. Yeah? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Pretty neat, huh, guys? That's so cool. Yeah, it is. Uh-oh. I've got battery issues. Uh oh. Oh, I'm I'm one one step from flashing. Being in the red. Uh-oh. Woo! Holy shit guys. Check this out. But we are in here, there's monkey. Wait a monkey. <laughs> We're having ice cream. Holy crap. Woo! We were sitting here and started to rain. So we went in and got our ice cream. I hope you can hear me. So I want to share this with you. What an adventure, guys. So, yeah, this is crazy stuff, man. Woo! It's a cold rain, too. I can feel it. <laughs> Oh shit, it's getting on the camera. I'll be back with you guys. Sit tight. Oh. Yeah. Batteries must be dead. Dude. And it was working just fine a minute ago. Yeah, that's weird. Okay, so this light I got for her. Battery, I just checked in the truck. Right as heck. Now yeah. it's dead. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm recording. We're, we're at, let me get my light on here. Okay, here we go, guys. We're on our last adventure of the night, because one adventure we had to skip. We're at a haunted cemetery. Whoa. Oh, wow. What? I don't see, can't see nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, come on. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay, we're gonna go. This can't be long. Bruno's in the truck. He don't like the rain. We don't have a raincoat for him. But we're gonna make this a quick one. But at night, it said that you can see figures walking around and hear a woman crying and screaming.
Now I can't prove or disprove it, but this is the Mount Carmel Simpson Cemetery. Isn't that cool? Now, this is supposedly an all black cemetery. So, Mount Carmel Simpson Cemetery. Wow, cool. Now I don't know if these posts are the gravestones or not. Wow. There you go. There's one there. Honey, you're holding your flashlight up in there, huh? There you go. Oh, I just thought I'd tell you. No, I'm just trying to balance everything. Wow. Huh. Number 57, Mabel Harley. Wow. I'm upside down. 1916, the year of birth. She died 1933. Wow. What's that back there? Mausoleum? I don't know. Here's another one. You see it? Uh, yeah, now I can. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I can see it now. Not as good as you, though. Wow. Isn't that cool? They're all numbered. The yeah. Black History Committee from Mount Dora. Yeah, this is an all-black cemetery. Yeah. It's a very old one. But it is supposed to be haunted. Henry remembrance of and reverence to all those who eternally rest here. The following committed their efforts and resources to the discovery of those long forgotten and toward the creation of everlasting access. So there's like the little map. Oh uh, yeah? Yeah. Wow. And this is the committee. Yeah. And there's also cool. Oh, the Lions Project from the Lions International. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh. Cool. See? Yeah, that's nice. Cool. So this is the cemetery. Yeah, it's our final. Uh. <laughs> Uh, exploration for the night. Right. Adventure. Right. It is a haunted. I wanted to spend a little time out here, but it's, like I said, it's raining brooms in the truck. I don't want him to think that we left him, so. Here, maybe I can see you through there. Can you see me? There, I see you. Better than looking at the dark sky. Why are you filming me at your video? Because you got the light, I don't. <laughs> well, turn it at you, I'll bet you'll see you. Yeah, see me now. Hi. So, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the adventure to Mount Dora with us. What we was going to do was going to take a golf cart ride, but every time we found him. What was that? Right before that truck, I don't know, it sounded like a howl. Oh. I heard a howl or a growl right over here behind us. Oh, my God. You heard it too, then. Yeah, we need to go. We was going to take a golf. Babe. Did you hear it again? I'm scared. We was going to take Could a golf a cart ride, but we couldn't find him. And, or every Ain't time we seen him to flag him down, he couldn't see us. And right. 
Right. So we went and had our ice cream then started storming. So we was like, well, and we wanted to save this for tonight for after dark. So Yeah, yeah. It's too bad it's raining, but that's okay. That's okay. Yeah. But I'll show you what, what I can on the way out. I'm trying to keep as close to her as I can to help her with the light. I'll probably have to take some of your footage a little bit. That's fine. Yeah, because I don't have too much. Do you hear that? Yeah, you need to something, aim it. Something hit the back of this wall. Aim what? Aim it over there and look out. No, something hit the back of this wall. There's more graves back through here. Oh, is there? A bunch. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Look at them all. Look over to the left. Oh, my God. Is your camera picking it no. up? You got to mm -hmm. point it where my camera's at. Mm-mm. I have to be right in your light. Yeah. No. Mm-mm. Honey, you're pointing the camera on the ground. I got it up here. It's looking. Yeah. See? It's not showing nothing. Yeah. There. I didn't know. See? Alright. Alright. Let's go. Yep. Before we get haunted. Yep. I'm out. <laughs> She's out monkey scared. Yeah. I thought you wouldn't, you don't believe in stuff. All right, you go in front. I can't see nothing either. Uh, that's why I was going in front of you. See? If I'm behind you. And it's thundering and lightning. Oh, this is cool. You should stay beside me. So I wonder why they remember them. Instead of their names. Because they're having problems figuring out who they are. Is that what it is? Yes. Wow. wow. If I can find some information on it, I'll put it up. One more look at that. One more look at Monkey looking at that. I don't know if this camera's picking up the lightning, guys, but look, a tree had fell on that at one, one time. Uh. Hear that? Yep. That means monkey's out for now. Take yeah. care of y'all. Hope you enjoyed our video. I'll take some of his on the cemetery, but my camera doesn't have a So, y'all have a good evening. And I'm out. This used to be the road, I think. I think this used to be the road. Monkey shag now, she's gone. There's the truck, we're back to the truck. So, hope you guys again enjoyed the day with us because we enjoyed having you. Uh, thank you for coming by. And, uh, Monk? Yeah? You want to say goodbye? Bye, y'all. Have a good evening. I'm out. All right, she's out. I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. If we run into anything interesting on the way home, we'll let you know. If not, this will be the end of it. Thanks, guys. Take care and bye-bye.